All right. Well, the food is very, very important, uh, but so is what the team does for the school and the community. I'm here with Derek Hall. He is the president of and the CEO of the Arizona Dimebacks. Been with the D-backs for many, 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 many years. Welcome to Sonoran Living. Thanks, Andy. Good, good to have you here. I'm glad you're out here at our baseball resort. Oh, my God. I mean, I think we could just talk about this weather just, you know, for the next hour. Very nice. It is perfect out here, and that's why we're getting record crowds, but it's also this facility and our team. People are excited to be out here for baseball. Right. It's just such a great feeling when you walk here. Um, actually, walk. Let's yeah. walk on over because we have a, a great backdrop for us. Um, I wanted to talk a few minutes, Derek, about um, why don't you have a seat? Why don't you come right over here? Okay. And I'll come right over here. Um, you guys are giving away money, or, or we call it like a, a challenge, the $100,000 challenge for schools. Explain this to me. How are you going to do that? That's yeah. a big number. You know, it's our first year. It's our $100,000 school challenge presented by University of Phoenix. And, and we've actually allowed all the schools to submit their applications, reasons why uh, they should receive the money. And there's going to be 20 schools that are chosen for $5,000 each. We've already had over 200, 200 applicants just showing the need for this right now. So there's no better time than now. And it can be uh, an education-based program. It can be on fitness and nutrition. It can be IT and innovation. It can be just a, a physical need at the school. But we've had so many heartwarming and heartfelt applications. It's, it's amazing right now. Now, are they schools from all over Arizona? And could they be high schools, elementary schools, any type of school? Absolutely. It's, it's K through 12, and it's uh, throughout all of Arizona. We've received applicants from all over Arizona. It's going to be tough to choose, and we hope this program just continues to grow. It's been such a huge response in our first year that we can see the need. And we thought in this economy right now, uh, the need for schools to improve, the need for funding right now, and unfortunately, we've had to cut back funding statewide, as you know. Mm -hmm. So there's no better time than now for us and University of Phoenix to step up and we have. Well you guys give away a lot. I mean you do a lot for, for the community and so now you're just adding one more thing. Whose idea was this? It, it was a combination of, of us as well as uh, University of Phoenix knowing that that schools do need money right now but but we do. We're really proud. In fact this year we're going to surpass the 30 million dollar mark and giving back to the community in our, since our inception in 1998. We give back anywhere from three to four million dollars a year. We give hundred thousand dollar grand slam awards each year. Three to four of those. We give grants away about 75 of those away a year. 25 Five hundred to ten thousand dollars each, uh, but we can do more. We know that, and and when times like this uh, call for more need, um, when the economy is tough, we're going to step up and give even more. Our commitment grows even more during tough times. Well, I think you're, it just tells what a great leader you are. I mean, you have kids, you know, that go to school here, and tell me what kind of stories you've heard. Well, we've heard a lot, and and you know, there are some, as I mentioned, from physical needs and and others that. Uh, that definitely need need money for uh, fitness and nutrition for after school programs for schools that that don't have lunch or don't have food for kids. Oh my God. Yeah, there's so many needs right now, and, and again, we're just starting to go through them and peeling through the layers of that onion. It, it just keeps getting tougher and tougher. And again, a reason for us to have to grow. I mean, Andy, we need we need more money, and and I can see this thing going from a hundred thousand dollar school challenge to a quarter of a million dollar school challenge and a half a million dollar school challenge. Uh, the Diamondbacks can do even more, and we want to. And instead of picking twenty schools, you'll pick thirty, fifty. 100 schools. Absolutely. I mean, the more the merrier. And if we can make it make an impact positively on this community in every aspect, not only in homelessness and in indigent health care, but now in education, it helps. Right. It helps everybody. Okay. So I'm sure there's lots of parents that are watching that have kids in school. Let's tell them how they're going to go ahead and get involved in this. They can simply go to our website, which is dbacks.com, and they can go to uh, or go to dbacks.com backslash school challenge and apply. It needs to be an administrator, a teacher, or a principal that can apply. Uh, but again, we've had over 200 applicants. We have plenty of time. April 15th is okay. when we when we cut it off. So please apply and let's let's get you one of those one of those 20 five thousand dollar awards. I think it's great. Well, thank you so much. I, I know you you didn't really have to be here till one o'clock when the game started, but I'm sure your days get started pretty early here. I'm here far earlier than that. Yeah, no, this is great to have you here. All right. Well, we're excited. All the stuff, the the real life stuff that's going on behind us, Derek. Thank you very much. Thanks, Andy. Good to be.